they listening to real messages. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Real messages. BreatheLifeRadio.com. What's going on, y'all? This is Kindred. I have an opportunity to sit down with a brother that, that is close to me, that is my folks, that is my family. Um, unbeknownst to him uh, is somebody that, that God uses to really keep me encouraged. One half of Jay White and Lee Majors. This is my folks, Lee. Blessings, greetings in the name of Christ, man. I'm excited, I'm excited. All glory All to glory. my daddy. All so we, we've actually been sitting dialoguing and, and, and talking and, and just chopping it up like we normally do. And with some of the subjects that we were discussing, some of the bullet points that we were hitting, uh, I had to grab the camera, throw it on the tripod and hit record. Um, we some, A lot of current things that are going on, there's so many different things that are going on right now. And what, one of the things that Lee and I were talking about was accountability yeah. um, and the importance of accountability, not just on a one-to-one -one, and accountability partner, but what do I owe the general public that knows of my shortcomings? Sin is sin. So let's not, let's not make three boys, hint, hint, any, any more right or wrong than... Um, if you cheat on your wife with a female mm -hmm. um, or any more right or wrong than stealing five dollars out of the offering bowl, you know, mm -hmm. um, bucket, bag. Mm -hmm. um, what is your perspective, Lee, of, of when you have um, a man of God, a minister that has stumbled, um, has chose to not defend himself publicly, um, and has gone a route that might be potentially right before God according to the word, but you have hundreds of thousands of people that are saying that the way he's handled it is wrong. Mm -hmm. Man, I, 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 would, I would say that before we get too emotionally tied to one side or the other, that we would just stay clear and stand on the truth of God so that everything that we do is concrete. Mm -hmm. Now, as a minister of God, we know that to even be qualified as a minister, you have to be credible as far as my lifestyle and my reputation. We have to be, uh, there's certain things in Timothy that the Bible lists that I have to have. I, mean, I can't be a lover of money. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, my, my essential teachings, is, according to the doctrine, have to be orthodox. Um, Responsibility and accountability is a word that people are trying to stray from because, you know, let's just face it, when you live in Rome, you don't want nobody to know. Yeah. True. Right? Yeah. Um, if you begin to try to hide certain lives, parts of your life, the Bible says what's done in the dark is going to come to the light. God is merciful. He would rather to give us mercy than judgment. And so many times you can be getting away with something and think, hey, I'm getting away with it. Hmm. I'm all right, right? <laughs> I'm still breathing. He ain't struck me down. <laughs> and you can begin, the Bible says that sin blinds you. Hmm. So all of a sudden you at, you're doing what you're doing. You're living in sin and sin is blinding you. And you can't think that God who's all-knowing sees you. Sin is progressive. Mm -hmm. It's not the enemy. He talks like, God, oh, just do this one time. Just take this one thing. But really it is. What it is, it's a door. Yeah. And when you open that door and you get a taste of the stolen bread, mm -hmm. it's going to taste better than the bread mm -hmm. at home. Yes. It's going to taste bread, better than the bread that you, that you baked and that you got with your own money. That's what the word says. When you steal it, <laughs> something about that rush and them yeah. endorphins. This is what soap operas is about. This is what the music is about. Right. It's about getting, getting, getting it and nobody knowing. Yeah. It's that rush that goes on. They, what do they call it in the soap operas? They call it a, a rendezvous. <laughs> <laughs> you know, a girl. This is what the soap operas is about. Big word. Yeah, a rendezvous. It was a, a love affair. <laughs> they try to break, but really, it is. Yeah, but there's a way that seems right, and the end is death. It's death. Yeah. The Bible said Proverbs run from that lady because her lips dripping of honey. She flowing. She Beyonce'd out. She looking good and everything. But her feet go to a coffin. Yeah. And the enemy don't yeah. want you to think about consequences. Mm -hmm. So if there was a door that was open, sin is progressive, you'll start off cheating on your wife. Without anybody knowing it, you will get to the place where it's boys. 
Because sin doesn't rest. Lust can't be satisfied. Mm -hmm. And it gets darker and darker and darker. Yeah. So the best thing to do is to begin to, I know it, it's not popular, but to tell. You got to. You got to be accountable. And then I think that level of accountability um, is relative. Um, you know, if, if, if you are, if you're not a leader of a mega church, you know, you don't have to tell 45,000 people. And that's not to say, you know, that the leader of a mega church should, but I believe that there is some accountability that he holds. You know, um, obviously his wife, he needs to be open and honest with his wife. I mean, we talked about that, how, the, how you can't, if there is no honesty, if there is no, no willingness to, to bring what was in the dark into the light, mm -hmm. Then there's no there's no restoration there's no it's it's not fixed yeah there's something still in the dark and that will continue to so so if I take ninety percent of what's in the dark and put it in the light that ten percent that I left in the dark is going to begin to fester and grow back into the original hundred and then some mm -hmm. it's going to grow and the, and the problem will start back up it all needs to be brought into the light so that's right I think there's a balance.